Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a huge bunkhouse travel trailer from Passport, but as big as it is, it is also made to be extremely lightweight. This is the 2023 Keystone Passport model 3401QD. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Passport and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome Keystone Passport, the 3401 QD. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good, Matt. They released this floor plan a couple years ago, maybe two or three years ago. Yes! And this is just like killer floor plan for families. So yes! With a lot of kids. Wait till you guys see the bunk beds in the back. I'm excited to show you guys. Well, wait till I see the bunk beds. Right, you haven't even seen it. Right, this is our first time reviewing one of these. Yeah. Because it's been so hard to get our hands on. Let's begin. Model is Passport 3401. QD, the actual tip to tip length is 39 feet, three inches. It's a big boy. It's a travel trailer. Dry weight is only 7,890 pounds and the hitch weight is 980 pounds. Now I say only 7,900 pounds dry. Yeah, for how long it is? Per capita. Per capita, yeah. Will's heavier than me, but I'm fatter than him. It's literally PPI. Pounds per inch. Yeah. <laughs> right up here, Will, is the nice power tongue jack. Okay. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. And as you can see the lock here is because this has the very nice Dragonfly lithium ion batteries that Keystone's now optioning with a lot of their Right. Units. Right up here, we do have a nice molded fiberglass front cap. This is not a Passport. This is the Passport GT series, right. which is different from their SL series, super light series. This one's gonna be the better quality, nicer build. Even though it's Keystone, it's still coming with that three year structural warranty. And then right here, we do have very nice slam latch storage doors with great storage. Cool. This is fiberglass siding with aluminum framing. Okay. Oh, it's these silly doors. Yep. Fiberglass siding with aluminum framings, and there is electric stabilizing frame. Yes. Yeah. Electric stabilizing jacks all throughout the travel trailer. Well, I thought that was auto leveling for no, a second. No, not in the passports. Coming on down, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. And then look at this. Two sets of steps, both solid steps. I didn't even put the solid wow. steps out on this one. Well, we have one job to do. I know, I don't think they can go down though. Oh. Oh no, they can. Can they make it? Yeah. Yep. Oh man. Very nice. Double solid steps. I love that. Actually. You never see that. Right. Coming on back over here, you're going to see that this does have the solar flex, part of lithium ion batteries, power stabilizing jacks, and extended season camping package, which is forced heated air in the unclosed underbelly. Speakers on the outside, and again, a phenomenal power awning with LED lights. And then look at these tires. Those are trailer kings. I love these. They are ST225-75 R15 with Dexter axles there. Cool. Again, I love the double solid steps. And then this is interesting how it's just plain right here. Yeah, you almost expect like an outside kitchen or something. Yeah, there definitely should be something. Yep. And then coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. It is prepped for the backup camera and there is a ladder to get up on the roof. And there is two AC units on this unit. Nice. Right here, we do have cable driven slide outs. Very nice. Right here's where we hook up our 50 amp service. Look at where they put the dump station. Not right bad, there. honestly, for, right. for how many slides and how big they are on exactly, this. Exactly, exactly. And then wrapping up, check this out. Instant hot tankless water heater. And then look, very nice potable water fill. Potable, potable. Outdoor shower, everything you want right in there. And then here's some of your electric controls for the awesome yeah. solar setup. Well, well, the outside of the Passport looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Well, 
what? Check out the inside. Okay. All right. Starting up front is the main bedroom. Coming outside or in the main living area, you have your kitchen, dining area, and living area. Towards the back is the bathroom. And then all the way in the back is the awesome bunk room. Where are we starting today? Wow. Yeah, crazy. I mean, I've huh? seen it before. But, like, it definitely hits different again. It does. Double we're over double next to over double. Over double, right? Yeah. We're starting back here, but first, let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Guys, Lipper just opened up registration for RV Owner School. Lippert's RV Owner School is a program that provides technical training and maintenance tips for RV owners straight from the source. It's hosted at Lippert's Technical Institute in Mishawaka, Indiana, and offers a nationally recognized, in-depth, technical, hands-on training experience. There are several reasons why RV owners should consider signing up for Lippert's RV Owner School. Firstly, the program provides valuable knowledge and skills for maintaining and troubleshooting RV components. This can save RV owners time and money by avoiding costly repairs and identifying potential problems before they become major issues. Additionally, attending the program provides an opportunity to connect with other RV owners from across the country, allowing for networking and sharing of experiences and tips. And attendees also receive some cool Lippert swag. Overall, Lippert's RV Owner School is a great opportunity for RV owners who want to improve their technical knowledge and maintenance skills, connect with other RV owners, and receive some cool swag along the way. Guys, click our link down below. Registration's now open from April through August is the dates of the training. We've linked Lippert's Owner School down below. We learned so much when we went the first yes. time and we know you guys are gonna learn a lot too. Thanks so much. See ya. Dang, Will. Right. This is the kid hauler for sure. Right. Double. Next to double, over double. That's double. Yeah. The double, double, double boiling trouble. Really nice for all the kids, all their friends. I've never seen this. This is absolutely fantastic. Right. And different. Very nice big screen TV right there. Right. And, and then keep check all those out kids entertained. All this storage. Tons of storage. I mean, if you got this many kids coming, you probably right. got a lot of clothes. And then yeah, definitely not deep storage there. This is like the official kit hauler. Right. It should call it KH. Right. Not QD. Quad doubles. Very huge pantry, adjustable shelves in, shelves in here. Very nice, very amazing different bunk room. I mean, well, this is really nice. We have a light in here, USB. I got plenty of space and then it's just like, like somebody could be next to me, but I got a wall to separate. Right. So when kids are all like you guys, you guys know kids, he's touching me. Right. She's on my side of the bed. This eliminates all of that. Mm -hmm. And the best part about elimination is that you got a door right here. To eliminate their noise. Oh. It's falling off the track. There it is. To eliminate their noise, or at least help reduce it. Right. Um, really nice over here. We have a very nice U-shaped dinette, which you're going to need for a unit like that. Right here, we have a huge drawer, and then another huge drawer. Okay. And I want to show everybody what it looked like down. Everybody knows what it looks like to sit at a dinette. Right. Like, we just sit at a dinette, like, why does that do, do us any good? I want to see what it looks like when we do this. There you go. Wow. Very nice. Check out these valances, windows all the way around. Really easy to set up, and it's kind of a, uh, a real sturdy setup there, Will. It is. Yeah, it looked like it. Nice windows. I'm getting all distracted. I don't yeah. even know where to go next. Okay. And then over here, well, it's a sofa. Really plush sofa. And it is across from the TV. The TV is 
unfortunately over the dinette but again there's only so much you can do when you're trying to jam pack all of these in here yeah and then um notice the tall ceilings great height ceilings honestly we're gonna show that in just a moment but first will do you know what time it is it's now time for, for the, the msrp MSRP. <laughs> msrp on this travel trailer here is seventy two thousand eight hundred and twenty four dollars okay will that's pricey that's msrp yeah sale price we're back with general rv and so we know we're going to be able to get everybody a phenomenal sale price so if you're interested in this unit please go to generalrv.com slash matt's cash we've linked it down in the description below link in the bio you can also go call 844-969-4033 however you got to get in contact with us please do and our team is here to help get everybody the absolute best price in america that's right let's continue the video will what do we got going on in this kitchen all right so we got a decent sized kitchen although if you pack that thing full this is gonna feel like a really small kitchen right <laughs> it's like it's a big kitchen until it's not a big yeah. kitchen yeah tv over top of the kitchen like matt said earlier is there storage behind it there is yeah let's show that Oh, okay got that yep a little tough to get to storage but again yeah. you're shoving this thing you're gonna make use of every square inch you are Nice window on your camping side. Not solid surface countertops, but they look really nice, I think. Nice extension faucet, big single bowl sink, and a flip up that's perfect, honestly. Like, Very this nice. is what we're asking for. It's nice and big, and it's flush with the countertops. Very nice. Storage underneath here. Okay. Now, there's probably storage on the other side that there I There is. Yeah. You want to get that next? Yeah, because um, that just connects to where he just was. Right. But okay, this drawers. is the drawers. And this is so smart. Well, a centralized vacuum. You're going to need yeah. that for all them kids. <laughs> you will. Nice Furion microwave right here. Oh, yeah. Furion range hood there. And a three burner Furion cooktop with the blue lights and oven. Very nice. A couple drawers right here. All right. Storage. And then a nice big drawer right there. So nice. And then next to it is a nice Furion microwave. I mean, refrigerator. Yes, sir. No microwaves about it. No. Nope. But they did use all Furion kitchen appliances. That's nice. Yeah, that is nice. Over here, we can kind of assume this is also pantry space. Oh, of course. Adjustable shelves, too. Yeah, there is a closet right in there, but... um. I feel like you'll end up using this for food. But I like how they put that closet rod yeah, in case you needed too. more storage for the kids. Exactly. Step in that shower, Sir William. Okay. Got a pretty big step up. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, it's it's a big step. I can't even, I can barely get my hand in there. So it's not going to pass. But truthfully, this isn't about your adult kids. This is about your, your little kids and they'll fit in this fine. There you go. Well, I mean, how tall were you when you were 13? Oh, wow. Plastic. Womp, womp. Mm -hmm. Will, you can step out here. Okay. There's no point of even showing me on camera anymore because this <laughs> is not a prime pooping position. We got the drawers and it's a plastic toilet. Right. Oh, so it's not a good position either. Oh, I mean, the position's okay. Doable for poopable, but yeah. Yeah. Nice uh, sink right here, medicine cabinet. Oh! Liquify! Yep. Guys, created by the Match RV Reviews team, you can get Liquify on Amazon. We've linked it down below. It is our brand of RV toilet chemical. Very nice. One thing that I do love about this unit is the fact that there is a door to I the bathroom on the outside. All right, well, coming on through. Whoa, there's another pantry that we missed. Ah, I don't know how I missed that. It was like right in front of you. It I really didn't, was. I didn't see it either. Again, adjustable shelf again rod in there yeah so if you do need this for more multi-purpose there you go look at the big door yep love that coming on in here we have storage right here okay storage all the way above yep this side as well very nice and storage there and then right here well very nice bed cubby on that side with power and usb same thing over there okay and then are these drawers? No, they're not. Okay. Oh, uh, this side is, I think. Yeah. This side has one small drawer. Okay, and then let's see what's under the bed. Nice. Big storage underneath the bed. 
And then you can mount a TV right there. Okay. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we love. Okay. First thing. I forgot to mention it because we got yeah. distracted. I love the height. ceiling height. Right. Number one, look at the rays in there. Uh -huh. It's really, really nice. Well, how do you feel being a tall man? <laughs> how do I feel just being a tall man overall or in this trailer? In this trailer. No, the trailer actually feels really good. Um, again, with that curve in the ceiling, it just really helps not feel so claustrophobic and everything. That's number one. Okay. What's number two? Number two. I'm going to say... I'm gonna save the best for last. Of course. So, oh, I, I'll say the, I'm gonna combo it. Electric stabilizing jack mm. and the double solid steps. Mm. And the solar. Yeah, and the solar and the lithium batteries and all that. All on here, all, well, it's still being an ultralight and, mm -hmm. and a good sale price. Right. Very nice. Love that. That's number two. I'll hold this camera well. Okay. I'm gonna walk you guys straight to number three on the third thing I love about it. Oh, it's that uh, one. I was like, uh... <laughs> Well, you know we love the double over double next to doubles. Double, double, toil and trouble. We love this back part. Never seen anything like it, and it just makes sense. Truthfully, it kind of looks dumb. You're right. It really does. But. Functionally. Love it. Mm -hmm. Because thinking about kids, how they are, their tendencies, this back room definitely kicks butt. With all the storage and the big screen TV, I yep. love that. Well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. And one is actually just on the other side okay. of this wall. Well, dislike number one for me, this is so plain right here. Yeah, it's just weird. I Again, you know, I, I, I know there's good stuff on the inside, but still, they I feel like they could have somehow, some way figured out uh, outside kitchen or at least another awning. I mean, right. there's enough space right here. Yeah. Well, it just seems a little weird. That's dislike number one. Well, that's number one. What's dislike number two? Okay, dislike number two for me is gonna be this whole bathroom. Yeah. Not only is the toilet and shower not good, it is a very, very small tight bathroom. And I'm just imagining trying to get the kids ready, giving them their shower and bath. We can't even do a bath. You know, the toothbrushes would be all over the place. Mm, just this, a big old mess. Yeah, this bathroom would be a big mess. That's number two. And then, Will, I got a number third. Okay. You ready for this? Yep. You know I love U-shaped dinettes? Yeah. So you can get rid of it. Yeah. Get rid of it completely. I hear ya. Go the open range route and give a me- big old couch. Just a big old one couch. Yeah. Guys, nobody in the world is buying this unit without filling it to the brim. Yes. Just give me a, just one big, you know I what I'm agree. saying? I agree. One big bench, one big stool, you know? Well, that's why I love this show because one thing I love is U shaped dinettes. Yep. Not in this unit. I hear you. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys are interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down below. You can get to it via our website or you can call 844-969-4033. However you gotta get in contact with us, please do. We're with General RV and we're gonna make sure everybody gets a phenomenal price on this unit. That's right. Will, what do you wanna say to America? Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching. This has to be one of the best travel trailers for families. Yes. Um, make sure to leave down in comments below. Let us know three things you like about it, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Will, We'll see you next time.